Hey there, it's Katrina Sawa here, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach with jumpstartyourmarketing.com. And I am excited to give you another business tip today on how to really um, get out of overwhelm <laughs> and uh, get more stuff done and, and stop working so hard, okay? So first of all, I have a quick confession. My confession is that, uh, have you ever had one of those days where you just kind of want to like blow up your email list? <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love all of you who are, who are adamantly reading my emails, or at least every once in a while you read an email, you watch a video, you follow me at some point. Um, I love all of you. But there's so many people who aren't paying attention anymore, aren't paying attention. And, or you're just too darn busy for your own good, right? And I know because I'm pretty busy myself, right? But I make time for the right things. And some things, though, I will admit I am not making time for in my life <clears throat> that I need to. So we can't say we don't have enough time. We're just not making the time for the things that supposedly matter to us or that we need to be doing. But, okay, so you're already too busy, right? Why stop and read an email, watch a video? I get it. I get it. If you can't even keep up with your to-do list, right? Believe me, my to-do list is a mile long, okay? I have projects. I want to do a new... I'm doing two new books right now, and I've got four events this year. I've got a lot on my plate, too. I've got travels. I've got a family. We just moved. As you can see, my office is not my office. I'm in chaos. I'm in transitional office space, you know? So I get being too busy. Hopefully, if you haven't watched a video in a long time and you pick this one to watch if you're too busy, then congratulations because <clears throat> the the goal is not to be busier in your business. Uh, I hope for you it's not. The goal for me is to have more freedom. The goal is to ha be able to go to karate. My husband just left to go pick up our daughter to take her to karate, right? After school, go to karate. He gets off work early to do those kinds of things. I could do those. You would think... I would be the I would be the one to take her, but you know it's his daughter. I'm a stepmom, so he goes and does all that kind of stuff. Um, but I should be able to do it too, and I could, but I don't. Put, I don't give myself permission. I don't actually put those things in my schedule because he does them, and I figure he could do it, right? How many of those things are in your life that you let somebody else take care of when you could be a part of it too? So part of it, as I'm talking to you even, makes me feel guilty, right? Makes me feel guilty. And I don't want to feel guilty because that's not a healthy thing to feel. Guilt is not healthy. So we want to not live our life through that. My point is, though, <clears throat> we have to figure out how to design the business around the kind of life you want to live. You know, I don't like to travel every once in a while. She's getting older, right? And I've, I've known them for about six years. Six, five and a half years, okay? And uh, and when she was little, she didn't even notice when I was gone. It'd be a bloop, it'd be daddy time, right? But now, as she's more bonded to me and she's older, she's noticing that I leave for travels or speaking gigs or conferences or whatever. Uh, and she's like, well, you're always gone. And I'm like, oh, no, you did not say that, right? No, you did not say you're always gone. I am not always gone, darn it. <laughs> That's no fair, you know. Um, so I'm trying to design, redesign my life. When I first met them, I was single and I was traveling like crazy. And I loved it because what else am I going to do, right? I got, I didn't have a love life going on. I was dating a little bit, but... Now that I have a family and I want to be home at night, I mean, I even changed my meetup in case you weren't a part of my local meetup here in Sacramento. It's the Sacramento Entrepreneur, uh, Sacramento Speaker and Entrepreneur Network. And it used to meet in the evenings from 6 to 8, right? I don't want to meet at 6 to 8. I want to have dinner with my family and kiss her goodnight when we have her. We don't have her all the time. And, uh, and put her to bed and then hang out with my husband and maybe watch a show or have a glass of wine or sit in the hot tub now that we have one. Yay. Uh, but I want to do those things in the evening. I don't want to go to a networking event. Okay. Now, granted, when I first started my business, I was at every networking event in freaking town. Okay. Because if I didn't have clients and I wasn't making any money, you better go meet people. So, <clears throat> there's different stages of your business. There's different things you want to be doing is my point. 
You want to be making sure you're spending time wisely in the right places, depending on whether you need freedom now, or you need money, cash flow, or you need both, right? There's certain, <clears throat> certain revenue generating activities, marketing, lead generation, follow up and sales strategies that you need to be doing at certain times in your life and your business. So make sure you're just not doing them out of order. And how do you know, right? Well, sometimes you don't know. Sometimes you don't know until someone like me brings it to your attention that, hey, why are you doing this over here? You should be doing this over there. But if you just don't know what you don't know, then you don't know how to spend your time wisely. So, I gosh, you know, there's so much I could tell you. And I do this in my three-day live events. And I really want you to consider coming to my next event. It is all about how to get more love in your life, whether you're married, you have a significant other, they're supportive or not, uh, whether you want a love in your life. We even talk about that. We talk about how to navigate those difficult relationships. So how to get more love in your life, love for self, love and confidence in yourself to charge what you're worth, how to do your pricing better, how to really own that, right? And take charge, be the expert and go after what you want. That's all about the love side of your life. I love talking about love. I love talking about that side of your life because that's what fuels me. That's why I'm in business. That's why I help other people is because I want to have a better life with my family. I also want to inspire others, right? But I want to do it because I want to have a life. So get more love in your life. Then it's about money in your business. We have to have money, a lot of money in our business in order to fund the lifestyle that we want or give back in the ways we want to give back or do good in this world, however you want to do good. All of it requires funding, a lot of funding. Not only that, but what if you live to your 95? You really must make enough money now so that you don't have to be working your tail off in your 60s, 70s, and 80s. Okay, so we got to make a lot of money. And uh, when you come to my events with me, I show you the things that you want to spend your time on. And don't talk about the things that you don't need to spend your time on right now for quick and easy, not pie in the sky. I'm talking consistent revenue generating, practical, realistic ways to make money in your business, okay? Doesn't mean we don't have stretch goals and you want to think big picture. That's all me too. I have talked all about living big and big picture, but it's about realistic stretch goals, okay? So how to get more love in your life. You know that there's some areas there you could work on how to get more money in your business. We, you know you're probably spending the, some time in the wrong places with the wrong things and you want to be more focused with your efforts. And then how to create that lifestyle that you really want. The lifestyle, the, the smooth running cash generating machine, right? How do you automate things and systematize and delegate and use your website as the hub of your business? Those are all the key things that have gotten me to where I am today. It's not just about time or the right marketing. A lot of it has to do with the systems I have in place. Seriously, if you don't have systems, you're going to be running on that hamster wheel for a long, 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 long time. And you might even burn out before you get to it. Okay, but before you get to the freedom in your business. And I don't want that to happen for you. I want you to get to the freedom faster. So what's the next event? Guess what? It's called Love and Money Live. <laughs> it's all about the love in your life and money in your business so you can create the lifestyle that you want. And we talk about all this stuff. Honestly, in three days, you will walk away with so much more being empowered and motivated to go after what you want. You'll have the tools and the ideas and the strategies and the know-how on how to go get it. And you won't have to, you know, work so hard and you won't have to wonder how to get more hours in the day. You're going to be more strategic with your time. You're going to figure out how to really put yourself first and what you want first. And uh, I hope to see you there. Just go to the webpage at loveandmoneylive.com, loveandmoneylive.com. And I hope to see you there. Don't wait till the next one. Please get your butt to this one. Don't put off your success this year. Get here now so we can make changes now and I can get my hands on your business now. 
okay? Because you want to start seeing me seeing more money now, not six months from now, or not at my November event. For God's sakes, that's forever away, right? Do it now. Come to Love and Money Live, and I promise you, you will not be sorry. Loveandmoneylive.com. Talk to you soon.